Well, Football Manager decided that it was time for a more than serious reality check at VfB Stuttgart. We have played five games since the last episode, and in those five games, we managed to gather a miserable four points in total. Bam! I am trying to get our morale back up to where it was in the last episode by playing our next cup game on camera. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Jochen aka Leo Demas and welcome to part 5 of Stuttgart über alles. In this FM21 series, I try to transform VfB Stuttgart in Germany from a newly promoted Bundesliga club into a European giant. If you are enjoying the series so far, feel free to show me some support by liking the video and by subscribing to my channel. Turn on those notifications and you will be the first to know when a new video drops. As I mentioned in the intro, we are not doing very well, to be honest. Um, since you were last here, which was the Leipzig game, our awesome victory in the last episode, we have played five games and we have lost the first one and we absolutely got butchered by FC Augsburg. Let's have a look at those match stats, shall we? And I mean, it's not even that bad, but we simply couldn't make anything happen. Our XG score a 0.31, miserable. In my opinion, this was the worst game to be part of in the whole series so far. After that game, we have drawn four games in a freaking row. And I know what you're thinking. Well, I expected worse or we could have lost five in a row. I know that. But apart from Munchen Gladbach, who are at that point top of the table, I'll give ourselves that. But apart from them, these were all clubs, including Augsburg, who were quite at the bottom of the table, to be honest. So, I know it could have gone worse, but it's just a general change of vibe that I have noticed in the last month that I'm not liking one bit. So, I try, I hope to try to restore that by playing Fortuna Dusseldorf, who are in the Bundesliga 2 or B, what is it called? Bundesliga 2, they are in second position there, so they're pretty much a Bundesliga club. But I'm hoping to restore our morale and whatnot by playing that cup game on camera. If we have a quick look at the league table, I mean, we are still doing quite okay. Don't get me wrong, I know, and we are, we have 27 points out of 19 games. We even have a game in hand on Hertha Berlin. But still, um, we have a more than decent gap of six points with Augsburg, who have butchered us 3-0. I can't repeat that enough. Um, but even then, I think we are still okay. I'm not fearing for, like, to end up in the bottom of, bottom of the Bundesliga this season. But like I said, it's just a general vibe that is going on, and me no likey. Of course, our top goalscorer, Nicolas uh, Gonzalez, is nowhere to be found. Because he was injured for six freaking weeks. Which brings me to this. I want to show you our injury history list. And I think list is the exact word you are looking for. I have sorted this by date. And this list goes from uh, August 26th until January 30th. So basically until now. Look at this list, man. And tell me, I mean... I don't know how you guys experience FM21 as far as injuries go. Let me know down in the comment section. But I seem to notice there are the, the frequency of injuries is a lot higher than in FM20. Let me know down in the comments. That is my experience. At least I did also experience that in the beta with Belgium, where we only played the European Championships. I kind of had the same problem. So I'm not sure if they like deliberately turn the injury, uh, whatever, to 11. But it's not fun, that's for sure. So I thought, what can be the cause? And although I didn't really get like an email or a notification that our training schedule was being too hard, but right away, that was my first thought when I was looking for the cause of all those injuries. So I decided to turn it down a notch, the intensity of our training, 
I am going to do, as I mentioned before, a whole separate episode on how I try and tackle my training, team training, individual training, youth development, mentoring, you name it. But I just wanted to show you that I've tuned that down a little bit, so like the intensity of the training. And apparently that didn't help either because now these guys are unhappy with the training because they even say, I mean, the nerve feels the low level of general team training might be causing the team's poor form. Well, what? So when I saw that, I decided, of course, to crank the intensity up a notch. So far, no improvement. I'm not going to crank it more because I am really thinking that is the, like the cause for all those injuries. But I'm not sure. Once again, if you've experienced the same thing, let me know down in the comment section on how I could possibly fix it because I am lost. Now, since we are at the beginning of February, of course, that means the winter transfer window has been closed. I did absolutely nothing. And I don't think, I think I showed you that I was working on getting a new low knee in on the left wing back position. Well, welcome Domagos Bradaric. He is Croatian. He is, um, let me see here. He is a two and a half star current ability player with possible four and a half star potential ability. So he is a more than decent uh, left wing back. Okay, but the other low knee we already had at the club, Goodmanson, he has been recalled by his club. And I mean, it was pretty clear when we signed the loan agreement with Groningen in Holland that he would basically never play. I would purely function as a backup player. But for some reason, they got mad about it and just decided to recall him to Groningen. So... We don't have an extra left wing back. We have just said goodbye to one and welcomed a new Loney. But enough with the complaining. Let's get this over with because I really expect us to win against Fortuna Dusseldorf in the cup. Uh, like I already mentioned, they are in the league below us. And it doesn't really matter what the result is going to be. Because if we look at the club vision... We have already ticked this requirement being reached the third round in the DFB Pokal. So this is not the reason why I want to do this and why I, why I really want to win this game. The reason is just that I want to get our morale back up. So, fingers crossed. Let's have a look at our tactical meeting, shall we? Um, they want us to go to defensive. I am unbalanced at this point. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, he... He tweaked some tactics and whatnot. He was experimenting in all those games that he drew. Untrue. We have played the exact same tactic for every single game that we have played. I mean, if you can win with 1-0 against Leipzig and you can lose with only 2-1 against Bayern Munich, I mean, something must be right. Something must be working in that tactic. Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, let's see. Next match only. Opposition instructions. Let's do it. Uh, I'll do that myself. Other advice. Borna Sosa. He's injured, so who cares, man? Who freaking cares? Team selection. As I mentioned, our star left wing back, Mr. Borna Sosa, is injured. He will be out for another two to four weeks. So that is pretty much scheiße. Um, Cavazor is also injured, but he is not really a starter, so I'm quite okay with that. And that's about it. Wamangituka is still crawling back into match fitness. Gonzalez is finally fully fit again. He hasn't scored since he got back. I think he played three games. You know what? Let's have a quick look. Form. So he was out for six weeks. He played three games. And he didn't do pretty much anything. So I am really hoping that he will get his mojo back. Because we really need him, man. I mean, come on. Now, with that being said, this is the squad to face Fortuna Dusseldorf in the Cup. Kobel in goal. Kempf, Endo and Anton as our back three. Braderic and Stenzel at the wingback position. Wilshire and Mongola in midfield with Dadi... Dadi? Didavi in front of them. And Gonzalez and Wamangituka are reunited as our striker duo. 
Let's see, someone is, or two guys are like concerned that they lack tactical familiarity with the formation. This guy is a young talent who I've just simply put in the first team squad because we had so much injuries. So he probably won't play, but he is there. Uh, and Brumado simply hasn't played that much. So I get that, but a lot of green also. Six players are tactically familiar, which is awesome. Uh, seven players really why would why is this one okay my bad this is team mentality and this is team shape all righty oh, position instructions are already set and so we can have a look at the fortuna dusseldorf squad but to be honest i don't think i recognize anyone so let's go to the dressing room um, and i really want to get them a little bit pumped here Fortuna Dusseldorf have won three out of the last five games, but if we perform to our best, we can deny them here. I mean, this is even like a little bit cautious, but I am going to do it. Okay, Mongala seemed motivated, and Castro is a team leader, but he is on the bench. Tunnel interview, please. Borna Sosa misses out due to injury. How much of an absence will he be? Well, Leopold, um... He's a big loss and I and I don't like knowing we have him we won't have him available. Let's go with negative. How valuable is having a versatile player like Wataru Endu in your squad? I think he makes us stronger and his versatility gives us a number of options. Here we are. We are not in the Mercedes-Benz Arena, we are in Dusseldorf. No idea what their ground is called. But here we go. First highlight of the game, a throw in for Dusseldorf. And that guy is getting a lot of room to cross, but decides to give it back to Morales. He crosses to Zimmer, and for the love of humanity, whew. oh man, I swear if we lose this game, and I know it's not a disaster, but our morale is going to, t is going to dip even more if we lose this game. Let's have a look at the replay, but I am pretty sure it was offside. Oh, wow, we. Couple of inches, but hey, thank you, VAR. 20 minutes in and nothing has happened since. Oh, there we go. A first highlight for Stuttgart. Ball gets headed away. There he is, our new Loney on the left wing back position. Bradaric with a chance for an assist. Crosses it. Silos Wamangituka, fifth goal of the season. And assist by new guy, Bradaric. Good stuff, man. Yes, we are 1-0 up after 22 minutes of play. Good, good action between Braderidge and Wiltshire. An excellent cross. And then Silas Wamangituka, with his beautiful face, puts us 1-0 up. 40 minutes in, nothing happened uh, after that goal. So I think we have reached, yep, we have reached halftime. XG story, pretty, I mean, there were three shots on target in the whole first half. Yeah, um, I kind of expected us to dominate a little bit more. But hey, at this point, I am taking this one nil. Let's say pump fist. Let's give the fans something to cheer. Nobody cared. Here we go. First highlight in the second half after 52 minutes. Ball falls to Mongala to Jack Wilshire. There he is again with a lot of space. Brotherich, can he go for a second assist? Whoa. Puts it back to Stenzel. Bam! We are 2-0 up. Our right wing back Stanzel scores with a beautiful shot from distance. And Bradaric has his second assist in his first game for Stuttgart. Good stuffy. Let's look at it again. And kind of an awkward cross, but Stanzel has a lot of room. And I mean, good shot, man. Good on you, Pascal. 64 minutes, new highlight corner kick with Leonardo and Crunch, I think. Heads it over the bar. I am going to pause game at the 70 minute mark. There we go. Let's do our first substitution. Uh, because that is the last thing that I want. To have someone like Wiltshire or Wilkshire? Like Wilshire or Didavi injured in a game like this. So I am going to take Wilshire off. Should I put new guy on? I can't see why not really. We are 2-0 up against a Bundesliga 2 club. Oh man, watch me bottle this now. But hey, let's just do it. You only live once, right? Um, 
That's it for now though. I'm gonna wait a little bit with my other substitutions. Play ball. 80 minute mark. Let's pause game again. Let's do our wow. Mongala is starting to pass out. Let's get um, Gastro on in that position. Can we maybe? Nope. Let's do it like this. And let's also get. Who do I really not want to get injured at this point? Um, probably Stenzel, but I don't have a. Ooh, I have Tommy as a spare right wing back. Let's do that. And you know what? While we are here, let's just do three substitutions at once and let's get our Austrian giant in the number 10 position. Confirm subs. Last 10 minutes, here we come. Immediate new highlight Leonardo with the throw in for Dusseldorf. Ball falls to Zimmerman. Ooh, kind of gets blocked by his own player, I think. Prip now. And there. This guy has had a lot of room in the whole game. But Endo with the steal, and maybe we can counterattack now. Come on, boys. To Tommy. There he is. New guy with an awful pass. There's your first impression. Sweet mother of Aisha. Leonardo has all the room in the world, and someone attack him. Thank you, Kempf. He heads it away. Leonardo again, and it's, of course, we concede a goal. Brandon Borello. Nice, awesome name, actually. Third goal of the season, but hoo, hoo, hoo. we are not looking good, man. I'm telling you, wow, we good goal though. I mean, the key, I can't blame our keeper, but mm. um, we are already at defensive. I'm gonna leave it like that, and let's just hope for the best in these final five minutes because we are almost at the end of the game. Four minutes of extra time. For the love of God, don't show a highlight. Uh, thank you. Wow. At least we won a game, right? And I mean, look at this XG match story. That was pretty obvious if you look if you looked at the highlights. So let's quickly end this game. We did well, and I mean, we didn't do great, but we did well. Dressing room. Um, I think I shouldn't be too enthusiastic, but on the other hand. If I do that, it's probably good for the morale and whatnot. So, a good win, boys. Well done. Wow, we. Everyone's inspired and motivated. Post game interview. Everyone enjoyed Pascal Stenzel's goal, a daisy cutter from 25 yards, blah, blah, blah. How did you rate it? And I mean, this is actually true. It, is what, it was one of the best efforts I've seen in a while, in a month, to be precise, dear Leopold. There we go. That is it. Let's have a look at the fans' reactions. Uh, and this is this pretty much says it all. Good result, that. Let's really build some momentum now. Don't mind if I try, dear Thomas. So, guys, if we have a look at the schedule, we will be back somewhere in March. Not because I am targeting a particular game, but because of this. Every year in March, we have, of course, in Germany also, the youth intake. And let's have a look at the preview, shall we? There are wide midfielders aplenty, so wingers, basically, in the upcoming youth intake. Well, dear FM21, if there is one position I am not using, it is the winger position. So there has to be a freaking wonder kid in there before I'm even considering of changing our tactics. Then, at least one of our center backs looks promising. We have a forward who could be considered a fine prospect. I mean, this is like a fine prospect, like he's okay, but don't expect too much. We have one good young German central defender from Stuttgart who has caught the eye. So that's basically the same as the second thing. And that is it. So, mm, I mean, I think it says it all. Don't expect much from this youth intake. So back to the schedule. We will be back somewhere in March, whenever that youth intake takes place. If it is after the Bayern game, I'm just going to simply fast forward to the Dortmund game because that one I really want you to see. Not because I think we're going to win it, but because we are facing Erling Haaland. That is why. So stay tuned. We might be back in March or early April.
So guys, that was all for this episode of Stuttgart über alles. I really hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have. I am super glad that we had a win, finally. Um, I think it helps to play games on camera. I'm not sure though. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you've enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, smash on that notification button, and let's keep doing this adventure together. I thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you very soon. Mm-hmm.